What's up guys, it's Barry Evans coming at you again. Um, so I'm doing two of these videos today because I got all this stuff in one go. Um, so I will be doing a full uh, review of all of my uh, gear and stuff again here soon because I've got a few other changes that are coming in. Um, but these are the ones that are here so I figured I'd get them out of the way. Uh, this is a uh, water bottle holder. It's a big thing. Um, this is uh, by the Condor brand. Uh, I love this thing. I've seen it in a lot of other people's videos and inspired me to get one uh, because they just it's so versatile. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the main thing why I like this is because it holds the big uh, stainless steel uh, water bottles. Um, as you can see I've got my cutlery set in there as well at the moment. It holds this. Um, that's about a liter of water, give or take. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh, name drop. There you go, you have it. Um, I also have my uh, stainless steel cup in there, which I'm not going to take out because you can see it in there, so why take it out? Um, attached to it, I've just got a, a cheap carabiner. It's not anything you would climb with. I think the weight limit is like 150 pounds. So, yeah, and I weigh 100 pounds more than that, so I'd be kind of shafted. Uh, Paracord Donut, uh, that is a new, slightly new addition to the team. Uh, I have this Paracord already in my pack. The donut is something else. I'll do a how-to video on how to make this if anybody's really interested. Um, it's an awesome way to store Paracord for, uh, uh, like in bulk and kind of keep it out of the way and it gives you, you know, the versatility of carrying it like this, which is awesome because I can just throw it right on the strap of this and I'm good to go. Uh, the container itself, like the, the pouch, has uh, molly straps on the back so you can attach it to any kind of pack that has, uh, you know, molly webbing on the side of it, which mine does. Uh, and the container itself also has molly webbing, which um, I'm trying to figure out a knife to keep with this, uh, just so I can use this as a, uh, like a lightweight, just, you know, day hike type thing, or, you know, just like a, a scout pack, kind of. Um, just keep the extreme basics in here. Uh, you know, your cutting tool, your water, your container, your cordage. Uh, something for fire, um, and if you can manage it, maybe cover. Uh, cover was not a uh, uh, priority for this just because it is small, uh, so it was the last on my list. Um, but, you know, I, I would take this out if you were going hunting or uh, just going for a hike or wanted to go out uh, into, uh, um, oh, uh, just wherever. Um, so I'm actually posting this right after my uh, EDC update. Uh, the video got cut off, which I apologize for, so um, the last things are the things I wear on my wrists, which is just a, a watch, and then on my right wrist, I have my Scotland band, because yes, I'm mostly Scottish, and then my paracord bracelet. This one was a, a, a gift. Um, I normally don't use these, just because they don't hold as much paracord as the ones that I make, uh, but I like it just because it has a whistle. I mean, eh, it's a man rape whistle, pretty much. But it's nice if you go out hiking or if you're, you know, planning on travel. So you've got something that can help alert other people. So in here right now, uh, I'll just do a quick dump of this. I believe it's just uh, some extra uh, fire stuff. Oh, I've also got a miniature radio in there just because I went out and I like having a radio with me. I've got wet fire in there. Uh, this little container is a waterproof container, the key ring, which... I've never utilized. I've always just had this in a pack. Uh, this is filled with ma magnesium shavings off of a magnesium bar. Um, just so I didn't have to carry the whole bar around, I've got this to uh, put separately from that so I don't have to you know, lug that everywhere. Got some wet fire um, matches, the camper matches, the waterproof ones. Uh, more matches. Bic lighter because if you don't have to use flint and steel, don't. Yeah. And then, just a backup knife. This is one I rarely use. Um, I kind of custom made it. I had two broken pieces of knives, uh, the handle and this, and as you can see, I just used a small screw and bolt, and then beat the shit out of the bolt with a, uh, let's see if I can get the focus, um, with a, uh, I forget the name of it. You use it to uh, hammer in the tops of nails. Um, really tough knife to uh, open up one-handed just because this is super super tight 
but this is probably one of the sharpest knives I have. Um, so I would probably try and use it just for um, maybe processing animals or, uh, I mean, hell, even shaving. Uh, just a great, super, super sharp uh, backup knife. Backup sharpener, not my best one, not the best one out there by any means, but it gets the job done, puts a decent edge on your blade. And then, like I said, my radio. So that's all I have in there at the moment. And then I also have my new, uh, sorry for that, uh, my new machete sheath. Uh, this, I don't know who I got it from. I don't know the name brand. Uh, the machete that is in there is not the one I'm keeping in there. I just ordered a, uh, a new one uh, because this one is kind of falling apart. I fucked up the handle on accident and the uh, plastic broke apart. But uh, I'm excited for this sheath just because it has the pouches. So that will give me uh, some uh, further boundaries uh, to push when building a uh, survival pack with this because I want my machete to, in itself, be its own survival sh uh, system, which is the same thing I was trying to do with this. Uh, I want my entire pack to be able to be broken down uh, if for you know whatever reason I have multiple people uh, or if I need to you know just kind of get up and go. Say I, I just want to do scouting or any kind of thing, I can take that machete and hell even with my water bottle container, uh, you know, conjoin them uh, via the molly webbing and molly straps. Um, this also has uh, nice solid metal D-rings for a shoulder strap. Um, so it can just be taken off. Uh, it has super, super duper long uh, molly straps in the back. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I believe they were like five or six uh, webbing's long, um, so it's really, really that thing's not coming off anytime soon, and again, the pouches, uh, leave me open to, uh, build an another miniature survival kit, which I have not done yet, uh, because I just got these, they came in the mail yesterday, I just kind of set them up to see how everything looked, um, so, uh, I'll have more videos coming out to you guys, I know I keep saying that, and, uh, you know, I haven't been delivering, but, uh, I promise, um, I've got a lot of free time coming up, so, Hopefully, I will be able to muscle out some decent amount of videos. I'm also in a no-fire region, so I cannot do any major fire uh, videos. Um, I'll see what I can do with, like, a miniature fire pit in the back, but even those are kind of, you know, a no-no right now. Um, so, I might be doing everything but that. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes in the next, uh, you know, week or so when I do everything. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, as always, hit that like button if you haven't liked it yet. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to me yet. Uh, and drop uh, comments. You know, I'm always uh, interested in seeing, you know, other people's, uh, you know, systems. Uh, seeing what works for them, what hasn't been working for them. Uh, any, um, oh, uh... Any items that, you know, I might be missing or anything that you think is too much. Everything is helpful criticism to me. Um, I really won't get mad about anything. Um, but, uh, you know, it, 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 everything helps. So, uh, again, thanks, guys. Uh, tune in next time, and I should hopefully have more coming to you. Peace.